Today we're making a meal from HelloFresh, where the cooking is always made easy. We're making pork al mojo, I think that's how you say it. it. Takes about 45 minutes to prepare it. It's very easy to make, a level one. It's nut, lactose, and gluten free. It's got 16 grams of fiber, 56 grams of protein, 28 grams of fat, 56 grams of carbs, and 850 calories. When we're done, this is what it's supposed to look like. So let's see how close we get. And here's Tiana, she'll tell you the ingredients, ingredients and what all you need to do. Go. Is it actually going? Yeah, okay. let's go. All right, so the first ingredient is, of course, the pork chops, which we have two of those. Whoop. There they are. <laughs> and then the basmati rice, which we have one cup of those. That's what it looks basmati. like. Basmati. 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 And we apologize. And then we apologize. have two limes. <laughs> then we have four cloves of garlic. Or a few more. Yep. <laughs> Stock concentrate. Where the hell? Just guessing. That's the stock concentrate. That could possibly be it. <laughs> Oregano, two bell peppers, two oranges, orange jam, which we have two um, tablespoons of those, two bunches of cilantro, That's... and then two red onions, and then four scallions, which are right here. And then we have two cans of black beans. Mm -hmm. Don't those and, look delicious? Yeah. Mm -mm, black and beans. then olive oil. So the first part of step one is preheating the oven to 400 degrees, which you already have that. And also we already started the in a medium pot, bring one cup of water to a boil with a pinch of salt, which I will put the pinch of salt in right now. Whoop, pinch of salt, there it goes. Yeah. That was a nice pinch. <laughs> and then, once boiling, add the basmati, basmati rice, and then cover and reduce to a simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna pour the rice in. Just like this, you gotta do exactly <laughs> like I'm doing it. And then, we're gonna cover it. Put it on a low simmer for about 15 minutes. Now we're moving on to the second stage of this meal. We're going to drain and rinse the black beans. We're going to core, seed, and remove white ribs from bell peppers. We're going to dice, and then we're going to dice them. Half peel, thinly slice the red onions, thinly slice the scallions, keeping the white and green parts separate. Zest and have the lime, have the orange. All right. Your big arms in the way. Wow, how do you do that? It's like magic. <laughs> okay. What are you doing over there? You draining the black beans? <laughs> yes. You read the jar. It's pretty good. Drain and rinse. Ooh. Watch me be like you and jump really it mm -mm. Shut up, Tiana. Okay, now that those are right. Hold your horses. Now, we're going to gut these bell peppers. Core. We're gonna gut them. We're gonna take all this crap that we don't want out of them. Mm -mm. Then finally dice them. We're gonna do all that. It's probably about the funnest part of the process. Mm -hmm. Come over here and help me. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna dice these. Finally. Okay, now that we're about done cutting up these bell peppers, 
and he's greatly biased. We are about to peel and have these red onions. Cut these red onions in half. Peel them. I thought I already peeled it. You might have already <laughs> peeled it. Already got it. Recording. Are you recording? Yeah. Man, you're talented. What are you doing right now? Can you explain that to us? <laughs> we already read the directions, and then we just put the directions. Well, explain to me what you're doing. Cutting the scallions and then slicing them. Okay. Did you have and to And keeping the white part separate. Which is, this would be the white part. Stop eating the ingredients. Yeah, if you can, please refrain from eating the ingredients until after you finish cooking. Tiana, you are doing an excellent job. I have okay. no clue why she's laughing. Now we are going to um, shred the skin off of the lime and then have it. We're going to zest it. <laughs> Good job. Is that how you zest a lime? Yes, Daniel. You are a great zester. Good job. <laughs> She's getting so much better at zesting. It's amazing. Hang on a little bit more. There you go. This is taking her about 15, 20 minutes. To okay. Do this. Aren't you okay. supposed to keep this covered? There you go. The rice. Okay, stop it. Okay, now what Tiana I, is going. Want? Now Tiana is gonna have. Did you already start it? Yes. T Tiana's gonna have this. What is this again? <laughs> the lime. Uh, the lime. We're gonna have this lime. Dude, Tiana is now gonna have this lime. This is a hard lime. Well, limes. And then we are going to have the. Tiana, orange. a little to the left. That's not quite half. We are now going to have this orange. And now she's going to have this orange. It's huge. Or have, as we should say, is have. <laughs> We're going to have this orange. Okay. Now we are going to salt and pepper these pork chops. Make sure to get both sides. I don't know where the salt and pepper shaker is, so I guess <laughs> this is going to work. A lot so, of salt. I like salt. Salt is good. It'll all buff out. A little bit of pepper. Okay, and cut. Okay, and now we are going to, we already have this on medium high heat, and now we are going to put one tablespoon of oil in this large pan, which she is slowly doing right now. <laughs> Oh About my gosh! <gasps> that was so yeah. not funny. That was like less than a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon right there. Okay, now put them on and then cook for on each side for about three to four minutes per side until golden brown. And then we're gonna transfer to a baking sheet and place in the oven for six to eight minutes. So in other words, we're supposed to cook these till they're done. Yep, and then put in the oven for six to eight minutes until just barely pink in the center, and then remove from the oven, set aside to rest for five minutes. Now we're gonna flip these. It's been approximately four minutes, four and a half minutes. So, so. so now we're gonna set these aside, let them cool down or rest, whatever you want uh, to call no, it. No, that's not that. We have to put in the oven for six to eight minutes to finish cooking. So, we're going to put this in an oven for a little while. I know, Mom. We're going to let this rest. So now put it in the oven. It's going to rest for a little while because it's really tired. For, it <laughs> for eight tired minutes? It to rest. I'll put it on the metal rack. Now, moving on to step four, we're going to chop the cilantro. And we are going to... Mince. Mince and grate the garlic, which consists of taking the garlic and putting it in this <laughs> like so. And then I think we go just like squeeze it. Yeah. this, and we just go 
like that. And we do that with all of our garlic. Yeah. And then we are going to, what, what does the rest of it say? Then pick the oregano leaves off the sprig and then coarsely chop them. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, now to do the oregano. And then we're gonna grab the oregano. And just put it right here. And peel the we're leaves gonna off. Take the leaves off of it. Like so. Pretty simple task, really. Now we're gonna Cut up these little green leaves, the oregano, real quick. And then... Then we will tell you step five. We will tell you step Now, we're gonna remove the chops from the oven. <laughs> and we're gonna set it aside to cool down, not to rest because it's not very tired, it's kind of dead right now. And we're for gonna five. sit there for about five minutes. Yep. And now we're going to put about a tablespoon of oil. Step five. In here. Yeah, step five. Over medium heat. Over medium heat. And then we are going then to we're put gonna take onions and the scallion, the scallion whites. whites for five minutes in the pan. For five minutes in the pan. Only the onions and the scallion white. Yummy. And we will come back to you after five minutes. Okay, now we're gonna throw the garlic and the oregano in here. For 30 seconds, <laughs> 30 seconds or until fragrant. Until it starts to smell right. Okay, now we're gonna take a fourth cup of water, pour it in here, then we're gonna take our oranges that we diced in half, and we're gonna squeeze it in here, we're gonna lower the heat until it thickens up. And then add the stock concentrate and orange jam. Here's the stock, one of the stock concentrates. Here's the other. And then the, you can go and get the two. <laughs> that looks funny. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> wow, it tastes plain. And then the jam is over there in the packets. And then once we're done with this, we're gonna salt and pepper it. And let it simmer for two to three minutes until thickened. And then we'll add the rice. What? We don't we're not on to that step yet. We will be in a second. <laughs> you have to go step by step. Now, once the rice is fully cooked, we take the black beans that you have strained and you mix them in with the rice. Do da, do da, day. And then the lime zest, cilantro, and bell pepper. Here's the lime zest that we zested earlier. Mm hmm. And then cilantro. No, cilantro first. All of it? Yep, and then the peppers. Cilantro. Stuff it in there. Just keep a smidge bit for garnish. Cilantro. There you go. And then all the bell pepper. And then the bell peppers. And then we are going to season with salt and pepper and then finish with a squeeze of lime juice. <laughs> Closed it. Here's the lime juice. I'm going to put that on there. Kind of reminds me of something Chipotle would make. Chipotle? Mm. 
reminds me of something that HelloFresh would make. <laughs> oh, wow. Where'd <laughs> that come from? We've never heard of them. Okay, then we mix it up. Mm -hmm. So now for the last step, which is step seven, we are going to slice the pork against the grain and serve on a bed of beans and rice and then top with the oregano, <laughs> oregano, no, orange mojo sauce <laughs> and sprinkle with scallion greens. So we're gonna take one and then yum. That is actually exactly how they said because it would be a slightly pink. Looks so good. I think we did a good job. Yum. 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 Alrighty. That's a lot of food. And then we top it. Ta da! Yay! Okay. What's that calling? Pork al mojo. Pork al mojo. Now you gotta, you gotta put like a Mexican Imagine. accent, isn't it? It's like something you would do that to Chipotle. Make sure you get the beans in the same bite. Got this. Shove it. Done. This is not how you usually eat. You make it really gross. <laughs> mm. You're retarded. <laughs> ah, I'll give this an eight. eight? It's really good. Oh, it's good. Tiana, stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope that I can enjoy it. <laughs> really good. I hope that I can enjoy it. Alright, what do you give it? Eight. eight. An eight. Alrighty. Now, on a scale from one to ten, what do you give it, Mom? From one to ten? Mm-hmm. Nine. Daniel? Six point two eight four nine. Okay, Britton? <laughs> the meat's really good, but... but um, six. Six? I don't really like I, I give it a seven. Bye.